How's it going YouTube? Wake Run Collapse coming back at you with a top 10 video. Now that Phantom Gate has been released, I felt it was time to make a video series addressing the cards that we're still missing in the TCG. Now that EX cards are no longer exclusive to legendary Pokemon, things have really opened up, and it's time for the unsung heroes of the Pokedex to get some real and honest love. So here's my top 10 most needed EX cards from the first generation. A couple of super simple rules here. Firstly, I'm safely assuming that any Pokemon that currently has a Mega Evolution will eventually get both an EX and a Mega EX. Those Pokemon, like Gyarados and Alakazam, are not eligible for this list. This list is only current as of mid-October, so if there are new Mega Evolutions announced after that, or new EX cards announced for a new set, this list will not reflect that, so no need to point them out. Once again, there's no hard criteria for why a certain beast might make this list, it's just a matter of personal preference. On with the list! We're going to kick off today's list with Executor at number 10. In the most recent sets, the Pokemon Company has become known for making unexpected EX choices. Examples include Magnezone, Toxicroak, Seismitoad, and Florges. So why not Executor? It fits the bill as a bizarre and underappreciated Pokemon. Something like this could have a nice wrench of an ability to throw a little madness into the TCG as well. Plus, the full art would give Malamar a run for its money in the creepy department. Let's stay wild with our number 9 selection, Cloyster. I think Cloyster would look amazing as both a regular EX and a full art, with the path the artwork has followed in the past year or two especially. Plus, it'd be really fun to see an EX take advantage of its vast defensive capabilities. Imagine, if you will, an EX with 180 HP that reduces the damage of all attacks by 30. Even without a powerful attack, it'd be nice to see a Cloyster that's truly built to last. My number 8 choice would usually be higher on this list, but I'll tone it down for the time being. How sweet would it be to have a Ditto EX? Seriously, picture Mew EX but on steroids. Even if you keep its HP at 80 or 90, give it a really powerful ability to be able to mimic its opponent like no other EX before it. It likely wouldn't be overpowered because of its fragility, but would still be fun to use. Besides, it's a ditto. Come on, people. Gonna stay tough with number 7 and select Golem. Golem is a stage 2 Pokemon that hasn't had a Japanese holo card since 2005. Think of all the bottom feeders in the Pokemon universe receiving better treatment in that span of time. It really makes Golem overdue for some love, and an EX would be a great way to break the drought. Not sure what it would do for the TCG, but it's built like a giant bowling ball. I'm sure they'll come up with something. Jolteon bolts onto this list at number 6. It's my only evolution choice from the first generation. And not because it's my favorite of the three. That's Vaporeon, by the way. I just think its dynamic nature would lend itself the best to EX and full art artwork. Additionally, Jolteon is one of only a few glaring omissions when it comes to electric type EX cards. With strong recent entries like Manectric, it might be a while before we see a Jolteon EX, but I really hope it happens in a future set. It's time to crack the top 5 with another underappreciated monster, Starmie. Starmie also hasn't gotten a hollow or better since 2005, but there's a bigger problem here. It used to receive the proper treatment back in the Neo and E-Series days. What happened? I've always been a big fan of Starmie, so it's no surprise that I would support an eventual EX. I would, however, settle for a very playable hollow with magnificent artwork. But for the purposes of this list, let's shoot for an EX. I don't like going with the same potential typing back to back, but this Pokemon's massive claws make me think otherwise. Coming in at number 4, it's Kabutops. The entire fossil entourage from the first generation is much cooler than it gets credit for, and Kabutops is the definitive mascot of that grouping. I really want to see one of those claws exploding out of the frame in glorious EX style. Its body type is perfect for a full art as well, much like Lucario and other vaguely human-shaped Pokemon. My number 3 selection will likely be a surprise to many of you, Nidoking. Nidoqueen would also make a great EX, but I like Nidoking's design a little bit more, and there's no reason to put them both on here, so deal with it. 
Giovanni's big beast has packed quite a punch from the very beginning. It has looked fearsome as an uncommon, in Thunder Knuckle, and as a massively rare card, a crystal from E-Series 3. So why not split the difference and give this stage 2 an EX? On the contrary, my number 2 pick will come as no surprise. Arcanine's powerful and majestic figure belongs on an EX, plain and simple. Seriously, what's been stopping it all this time? I like seeing Growlithe as much as the next guy, or girl, how's it going super duper tutorials, but that cute puppy can take a backseat to its iconic evolution any day of the week and twice on Sundays. Since the rise of the true legendary Pokemon, Arcanine has been relegated to second or third tier status. It's time for that to end, and what better way to announce its return to the top than as a secret rare full art. Now from the moment I started making this list, there was only ever one Pokemon worthy of the top spot. Only one Pokemon deserved to take up every square inch of an EX and Full Art EX card more than the others. And that Pokemon needs every pixel on that card. Snorlax. Snorlax owns. He's more ripped than you. You can't pull 10 Pokemon, can you? I didn't think so. In all seriousness, Snorlax is a boss and the monster most well known for its size in the games and anime deserves the most space on a card. So let him live. Oh, and give him some funky attacks too, because Snorlax knows how to get down. That's the full list, everybody. What did you think of my choices? Did I go horribly wrong somewhere, possibly as a young child? Are you a turkey with egg beaters for fingers and you're just looking for your place in this world? If you are, you'd better subscribe to my channel. I won't be able to help you with that, but... Given your circumstances, you might need a little familiarity in your life. I've got pack openings, box openings, complete sets, and videos like this. Plus, I love turkeys. Or maybe it's turkey. I can never remember. <sighs> well, thanks for watching.